All right, guys, so um, I uh, wanted to show you where I got the software. Boy, I'm so tired of Windows trying to update. That's ridiculous. I don't have enough room on this little laptop so it can't download the updates. And I don't want them. And every time it pulls the screen up, I got to click on it. And then I got to close it and make it go away. And I have... I've tried to make it to where it can't update. Like, uh, can we just disable Windows Update? <laughs> um, anyway, that's not what we're here to do. So, okay, the, the web address for this is github.com forward slash eg zoomer forward slash ub dash k5 dash firmware dash custom forward slash releases this is the one that i showed you um and it has the flash with the browser and it's super easy as long as you have the right cable and I guess uh, basically um, I should probably show you how to do it um, I thought I already did the other day but I cannot remember if I did or not um, so this particular one here it uh, flashes with the browser if you don't want to do it that way you can download the the bin file down here um, this is uh, I don't know if this is the same as the one that's got the weird name on it that says like faggy or something or fadgy or something. Um, I All I know is that this one has single side band. There's different releases and it tells you what they are for each one. So release one five, one four, one three, um, there's, there's a lot. And they all can be flashed with the browser. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do it because I've already done it. I'm just going to explain it to you and walk you through it. Um, okay. So, let me adjust this here. So you're going to click on, this is all 1.8, the latest, greatest. Let's see if it has a release date on it. Four days ago. Flash the browser. And this is seriously just going to pull this up. So, take your radio. Hold down the PTT. Turn it on. If the LED is on, you're in firmware update mode. And then plug in your cable. And then you click patch firmware, flash firmware, and it will flash it. Well, it actually, if you want to use COM port 4 or whatever port you're using, and it only takes like a minute or something like that, and then you'll be off and running. And then, um, for the other part, um, let me zoom this out, on the radio itself, it'll look like that. You're going to need one of these if you expect to hear anything at all, okay? This thing has no sensitivity whatsoever outside of the ham bands, okay? Um... Outside of UHF, VHF. So on 28 megahertz, I mean, you can copy some signals. Uh, but, I mean, it's going to be difficult. In fact, let me uh, just... Uh, give me a second here. Um, there you can see here. You can't even hear the FT8. But... If I switch over to here...
There's no conversations on 10 meters, really. So, I can't even find anything that's really legible. Now, occasionally, you'll hear it on here pretty well. But right now, you're not going to. But there it is right there. Now, this is on a vertical Hustler antenna. And this is on my loop. And it's not even tuned. I'm on the matchbox. I just put it on the 10 meter position. I didn't adjust anything, so it's not tuned. Um, look at that. A S7 noise floor. Now, if we go, oh, we can hear a little bit right now. If we go like, you might hear something on here too, but. You don't hear it on there. So it just does not have the sensitivity to receive these signals. And I mean, like, seriously, you need a big, huge antenna. If you're going to copy anything on a rubber duck, it's, it's not happening. So... I don't know if there's a reason for it. I don't know if it's software related. Let's see here. Zero, two, seven, zero, two, five. Okay. There's your CB radio. I'm on narrow. Now you know these guys are running crazy amounts of power and we don't hear them very well. I can't I can't give you an example because that radio doesn't go on 11. Let's see what AM fix is. Wow. Check that out. That made a big difference. It gets rid of a lot of the noise or something. No, yeah, maybe not. I'm trying to find the um, wide and narrow. There we go. It didn't really make any difference. Make it sound better on narrow. So, anyway, if you want to listen to CB radio, you probably can do that. But it's this thing is just not very sensitive. That's just all there is to it. Um. Yeah, see, there should be an A and B key. Why not have keys right here?
I don't know if it's going to pick anything up when if I hold it down like that or not. But it should be some air traffic on here somewhere. Doesn't look like it. I don't think it was supposed to pick that up. I think we have to have the squelch on. The menu is so screwed up now. Like, I don't even know where the hell anything is. Like, I just want to find the squelch. I don't want to scan through this entire damn thing. Got to be somewhere. Okay. I'm just trying to see if it picks up any air band. Um, to see if the AM fix actually really works. I think it works okay on AM anyways, but it's not amazing, but none of them are really. Let's see, is it going up in frequency? The one that I had it on originally was a frequency uh, like 132.35 or something. It's real busy around here usually. Anyway, it looks like we're not going to pick anything up, but um, unfortunately, um, trying to listen to any upper sideband on this radio is going to prove to be like really difficult unless it's your neighbor talking on the radio five miles away. So... Yeah, if it can't break your squelch at, like, number two. Let me get in here. Anyway. Let's see. Zero, two, one, zero, seven, four. So on AM. Yeah, so find the demodulation. Man, this is ridiculous. Where is it? Are you gotta be kidding me? This is ridiculous. There.
Still not hearing any FT8. Nothing. So anyways, um, it's about an S6 on 10 meters right now. It's not going to work real good if you think you're going to listen to 10 meters or any, you know, HF on other bands. Cool that it can. So if I get on the radio and start talking and put it on the frequency, you'll be able to hear it, you know, but, you know, it's not really, it's not usable. So um, until they come out with a different radio that has better sensitivity, I don't think you're going to be able to do that.